Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Best Life and Beyond. Uh, I'm headed downstairs. We're still in Vegas. Uh, Katie ran down to get some coffees for us and uh, realized the line was too long at Starbucks. So we're just going to go to the cafe and sit down real quick. So I'm going to run down and meet her down there. Let's go. Walking by the big six wheel. I didn't know they had an automatic one now. That's so cool. And then Wolfgang Pucks. And I think, I think this cafe that she's at is down here. I don't know. I always get lost. Okay, I'm going the right way. Katie, uh, will be proud. I asked for assistance and I am going the right way. I like hotel cafes, they're the best. Hotel coffee, you guys, that's, that's where I get that term from. Found you. Good morning. Uh, so you procured us a spot in line while I was still editing, thank you for that. Okay. Uh, but I thought you would be proud that I found you. Yeah, but you didn't, like it's Well, I asked thing. for assistance. Yeah. And so. Because here's the thing. I gave him directions, I said, when you come out of the elevators, take a right. Yeah. And then you'll see the cafe. What well, does Spencer I, but, do? He well, comes out? I did, I took a right. And then took another right. Well, I like. I took a horseshoe, I guess. <laughs> I like to giddy up in the morning. So, if yeah. I was making your report card, what would it say? It would say, can't follow directions. No, I did, I just expanded on the directions. I got a little that bit... That means you can't follow them. I got a little bit too uh, <laughs> no, interpretive. Means you... I mean, I was, you can't follow that. It was an interpretive <laughs> dance, uh, based on... Okay. Anyways, I found you and... Uh, you get an S for satisfactory. Whoa, behavior. I guess I'll take that. I got a lot of those you growing up. You want to get an O, like an O is the best, but... Well, that, that's a good show, too, at the Bellagio. Yeah, I wish we could see it. Not till July. July, but we'll come back and see that. It's worth so, it. So, the way this worked, you had to, like, scan a QR code. Yeah. And um, you get on a virtual wait list, and then when it, your table's ready, you come back. So that's what we're doing. Just it's a like little a, cafe. We it's got to be. Really it's like it's like Disneyland now. It's gonna be like that. Yeah, it is. Virtual You're queues. Right. It's kind of like that. That's what it is. Virtuosity. Yeah. As we land on the final, final social distance marker. To the cafe, Katie. Look at the nice cafe. Classic casino cafe. I'm, I'm a fan. I wish they had Kino though. I don't see Kino. No, I miss like being able to do that. Coffee and Kino. That was that was the the that deal. Was the best thing. And I you could spend like hardly any money. Yeah, no, it was so much fun with the crayons. Yeah. Oh, I miss that. Thank you. Okay, we got a big booth. Pulling down our masks. There we go. There's uh, plexi partitions uh, that you can kind of see the reflection right there behind Katie. That's smart. Good, good detail. Good work. And these are the menus of today. Yeah, so QR code is back. Remember how QR code kind of faded for a while? Like it yeah, wasn't. Yeah, but now QR it, code is the king now. Everything. Everywhere we have gone in Vegas. Let me just tell you. Yeah. If you don't know how to use the QR code, you aren't going to eat. Well, even in San Diego, remember? Yeah. yeah. Everywhere. So you just all you need is your phone and a camera, and you scan it. And then you'll see right there, yep. it pops up onto the website and then it shows you everything. Look at that. So that's how it works and that's how our room services, everything. If we want anything, if you want to do anything anywhere now, you have to know how to use a QR code. Again, yeah. you just use your camera, pull it out, because I didn't know. I was like, well, I don't have that app. And they're like, it's not an app, just your camera. All right, seeing so uh, some of the standard fare there. Oatmeal, American breakfast is kind of calling to me. Although, build your own omelet is always a fan favorite here. I don't know why, but steak sounds really good. Carnivore. Scrolling down. Oh, Katie. What? Pancakes, waffles. No, maybe we'll get pancakes to share and I'll get something small. Look at the lunch. Katie, back in my day, if you just got chicken one way, you'd be ruler of your roost. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right, it's tradition time, and it's our first breakfast out. Like this is, I've been oh, waiting for this. Sit down, yeah, dine in breakfast for a long time. Yeah. It's been since. It's been since it's forever. Been a while. Cheers. That sweet hotel coffee. I was right. Oh, <laughs> it is good coffee. I like it. So, what'd you end up getting? Um, I did the American breakfast and. Burger. Um, well, just because I was really craving, like, I don't, like I said, I don't even really care for the eggs. I was really craving pancakes, and yeah. it comes with toast, I just did pancakes instead. Oh, you did a swap. Yeah. You did a pancake swap. Because I'll likely, what'll happen is I'll like, they don't have an option of just, like, pancakes with a side of bacon. They so. don't, right, they don't have a pancake sandwich, which is a very popular item at a lot of restaurants. Yeah, I would do that. Yeah. Um, Gladly do that. I'm so excited to see Banky today. I know. I am too. 
it's gonna be a moment. I got a uh, uh, build your own omelet. Uh, what did I get? Cheese, spinach, and onion. Yeah. I really wanted a Greek omelet, but they didn't have feta. I mean, I guess I could have asked, but <laughs> I'm, I'm just imagining that they probably don't right now, and if they didn't have it on the menu, I don't know. I love a Greek omelet, which is feta, onion, and tomato. It's really hard, too, because they're kind of running like, everything's open and everything but you know it's we're coming off of this whole like pandemic thing so yeah. not everything is running as quickly and smoothly as it would yeah, be considerate be considerate of the, the workers right now and don't be too hard on them because they're probably understaffed based on uh rules in the phases like they can't have as many and people with working probably like not everybody's yeah. able to work because if you have an underlying health condition like, yeah People are considering that, or if you're yeah. living with elderly relatives, they're talking about that stuff too. Yeah. Okay, our food has arrived. Look at this. This it's is our. Lot. It's a lot. It's our first breakfast. I. I was doing a dance that was embarrassing, Katie. It was great. Um, there's my sourdough toast. There is my omelet, my spinach, cheese, onion omelet. And look at those potatoes. Legit breakfast potatoes. We're gonna share these. What up, short stack? Yep. And then this is a lot of food. I can help you if you need help there. Thank you. Nice American breakfast. I see you've already peppered some pepper in. See what I did there? Oh, thank you. <laughs> so the way the food comes out nowadays, Oh yeah. Uh, we notice everybody who gets food, it comes covered. Yeah. And then they uncover it right before it hits your table. Kind of like the covers you get for room service. Yeah. The same type of uh, metal covers. There's no like, salt and pepper shakers. They give you like salt, pepper, um, you don't get like a bottle of ketchup at your table anymore. Right. They give you disposable. Same thing with syrup. If you want syrup, it comes in a jar that's sealed. Exactly. And then the butter same thing as well. with butter, also sealed. Um, when you want coffee, uh, they don't come to refill your coffee. They uh, just bring you a whole new cup of coffee. Because they probably did it in the back with gloves on and everything. Because there's my first cup over there, and then she just brought me a, a full one, and then I re-creamed it up. Yeah. So, so, yeah, those are the big major differences. I probably don't realize how much they're having to do backflips back there just to keep this open and to serve you food. So we are very appreciative of all the hard work uh, that went into this meal beyond the normal. It's always, we're always appreciative, but now it's like, it's on, like even more. Yeah. Definitely. So all right, let's, eat. let's do it. Bon appetit. Okay, so my butter thing fell over and I noticed, look, it's a hidden Mickey. Kind of. Yes. It works. The ears are a little bit large, but I'll take it. This omelet is so fluffy, I already had a bite. It's really nice. A lot of spinach, which I need that right now. I need my energy. Mm. So good to eat breakfast again. Out. Yay! Leaving breakfast, that was really great. We got to go cups with the coffee, so we're out of here. I love to be able to sip through my mask, but I can't. All right, there's that cool little wall right there. Isn't that neat? All right, on with our day. All right, one last look at our spectacular view from MGM as we uh as we pack it up lots of zippers happening the uh workstation has been dismantled the bags are packed we're ready to go my bags are packed and it's funny because i was thinking of happy gilmore and kevin nealon is telling him just send the ball home happy just <laughs> his bags are packed he's ready to go <laughs> all right we're checking out. There she goes. Bye, Rim Leisha. Bye, Rim Leisha. I got my bag. Oh, all right. Bye, Rim Leisha. I got it all. I got it all in one hand. All right, pulling up to New York, New York. Look, look at the lift hill on that coaster. Mm. Woo wee! All right, nice. we're gonna. Thank you. We're gonna go right under it. I remember doing that. That, that first uh, first drop's pretty good. Looks fun, but I don't think I'd <laughs> want to do it. All right, All right so parking's over here. To the right. All right. Yeah. Free parking. I know this is enjoyable. Yeah. This is enjoyable. It's like, you know, in Monopoly, free parking is like it's, yeah. it's everything. All right, made it around to the other side here at the main entrance. No coaster going right now. I wonder the if it's Manhattan Express. the Manhattan Express. I wonder if it's just because nobody's uh, buying tickets. At the We've moment. seen it running literally like yeah. every half hour from our hotel room. I love that detail right there. That's so cool. Look how abandoned this place is. Yeah. 
Lady Liberty torches for the door handles. I never noticed that before. And we have arrived in the New York, New York casino. <laughs> Look at the, the dropped taxi cab with the mag wheels. I love this bar in here, all circular and rad with the lighting, mood lighting. There's Katie's craps game. Uh oh. oh I love that game. <laughs> I want to play that so bad. And look, Katie, there's Hershey's Chocolate World. Oh my gosh. Lots of candy, which is everything I like. There's a Licorice Lady Liberty right in the entrance. It's yeah, a red vine. It's Twizzlers, not red vines. Oh, Twizzlers, okay. Yeah. Get it right, okay? Wow. Let's get in there. Look at the mug. It's all Twizzlers at the beginning, huh? These are my favorite. They're filled. Hi. They're so good. Rainbow Twizzlers. For pride. Buckets of Jolly Ranchers. Oh my gosh, you could just scoop them up. You want a Jolly Ranchers uh, wax melt? Interesting. And candles over there. I've never seen that. Jolly Ranchers has like merch and everything. Look at this. There's socks. What? Mug life too. Love Las Vegas with the kiss. That's great. Kiss scarf. I really like that one, the red, white, and blue, Las Vegas. Kit Kat shirts, what? That's so cool, look at that. I love that there's candy merch, like shirts and stuff. And then the giant Reese's peanut butter cup area, oh my gosh. Look, you can walk inside a Reese's cup. Oh, it feels just like it tastes. I love Reese's. And even the windows are yellow. <laughs> this is what it's like to just to be- To be a Reese's peanut butter cup. You can get poker chips themed with the candy, I like that. Oh, so here's the Reese's area. I was like, where's the Reese's merch? There, there it is. Oh my gosh, I need these. Look at these. Oh, I love my Reese's. Either this one. Oh, that's even better. Center placement. Oh, that's brilliant. Kind of a retro. Flip flops. Binky's got some uh, action in here too. Got your choice of Reese's hats here. Look at that. Socks, socks, socks. Reese's socks. If you know me, you know I'm a big fan of socks. Strangely, I'm craving Tito's right now. Yeah, of course you are. Because of this orange. Hey, look, it's a scarf so you can scarf your peanut butter cups while wearing that. Oh my gosh, look at the Reese's wall where you can get it in bulk. You grab a bag and you get to pull the lever and dump a giant amount of Reese's in a bag. That is so cool. Oh. Here's the mascot. It's a Reese's buddy. I don't know what you would call him. Hi, Spencer. Oh. <laughs> Go downstairs so Katie can find some more things she wants to eat. Somehow I don't think that's him talking. That's great. There's even Katie. What? A Reese's elevator. A relevator. Oh. A Reese Vader. All right, saying goodbye to the most awesome room ever. Oh, that's interesting. As we descend into. Oh, I see more than I like. Rolos. Oh, boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Come to mama. Oh, big kiss. Oh, Hershey World. Look at you can customize like a cover. Oh, no way. That's pretty cool. We do a Best Life and Beyond logo. And now we have found the chocolate Lady Liberty, the Hershey's chocolate Lady Liberty. Wow. I wonder if she's solid. Probably solid chocolate. They've even got a Hershey's collectible penny press for all you penny enthusiasts. You see this counter, you guys, with all these treats? Hershey's strawberry syrup. Whoa! This is a giant. Oh, I like that one though. Chocolate syrup. Oh my gosh. That is awesome. It's a piggy bank. Oh, I was gonna say. It seems lightweight, like it doesn't really have that chocolate syrup in it. $22.99. And I, knowing you, you'd probably rather have it with the actual stuff in it. Yep. Mini donuts. Got the entire wall of kisses with all the different flavors. All right, leaving Hershey's. Sorry, awesome. Katie. I wanted to buy everything, but I'll be good. There's other things I want to get, so it'll okay. be good. All Let's right. go up and look for the Manhattan Express area. Okay. And we need lunch pretty soon here. Okay. Katie, the chocolate bar. <laughs> get it? And I've always. 
always love the, the little Times Square Panasonic and the Pepsi Cola over there. Oh, the Starbucks is open. That's always good. And it looks like the sports book is open. There's horse races going on. That's good to see. I was worried about the sports book. Yeah. And you really can't beat this whole fire escape look. And then I think this is the Greenwich Village area if I'm not mistaken, but either way, it's just so neat. Just this whole little food court area is really fun just to walk around, even if you don't get anything to eat. But it's actually making me hungry just being in I'm here. So getting hungry. Yeah. We got we've got a New York deli which is really kind of uh, grabbing. that's grabbing me. I can smell the pastrami from here. We've got some tables. Oh, Katie, you didn't feed the meter earlier. We're gonna get a ticket if you don't. Um, here, let me see. Oh, we've got we've got three minutes left. We're okay. All right. Thank goodness. All right. I think I would like to get something to eat and then park it at one of these tables here. Yeah. What's that here? I don't know, but I just love. Oh, the art direction here it's so good yeah oh you're right greenwich oh i was right right greenwich greenwich uh village this is kind of a neat little little area right here looks like the roller coaster is closed we saw it running earlier maybe it was just testing Maybe that was the case. Maybe that's a next week thing. And I think the decision's been made to go to Greenberg's Deli. I like that this is supposed to feel like you're outside. And you know what I noticed? They've got some uh, kind of some simulated graffiti on the walls. And then they've literally got a straight Banksy bite right there. That is probably a straight copy of Banksy's Balloon Girl. <laughs> There's the front of the business here. That's great with all the products on the walls. Whoa, look all right, we got a table over here. Look, it's like the, one of the checkerboards at the park on so a park nice. bench. Yeah. We're sitting on a little modified park bench. Uh, the lighting's a little bit low, but uh, hey, look, there's the Flatiron building right there. Mural of the Flatiron building, famous in New York. I mean, just look at these little views, you know, just incredible. Okay, we got our food. We got uh, turkey clubs, giant turkey clubs. I know, we could have Pickle, <laughs> no way. Uh, we got some classic potato salad and you got a Dr. Brown's- Root beer. Root beer, original root beer. And a water. And a water for me. And then we got our cheesecake for oh, look dessert. Look at that cheesecake. New York cheesecake. Oh boy. That should be really good. It looks good. It really does. All right. Cheers. So good. It's now that time for the cheesecake. The New York cheesecake. I oh, think look how light and fluffy it is. It's sky high also. Yeah. I can smell it. I know it's good just by yeah, the smell of it. Yeah, you can smell. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Creamy. Super creamy, super light. It's got that tang. Oh my gosh, we might have to get another one of these to go. That's, that's, honestly, Cheesecake Factory, this gives you a run for the money. Because this is real New York it's, cheesecake. This is better. This is Thank better. You. Mm -hmm. It's got hints of, of my grandma's cheesecake. And my grandma's from New York, so, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. oh, and you just it. Oh my gosh, that was good. I'm stuffed. Whoa. That was like so good. My stomach is so full. Look at these giant steaks. The certified black Angus beef New York sirloin, Katie. Here at uh, Gallagher's Steakhouse. I don't think they're, maybe they open for dinner. All right, it's on the way out kind of vibe. We're going to go for it. Classic wild cherry, one pay line, very basic, 25 cents, max bet. Let's play three credits per. Ready? Here we go. Oh boy. Oh. Hey. 15. In the words of a title of an old movie, we are, quote, leaving Las Vegas. Oh, speed bump. I didn't even see that. I didn't either. I was like, <laughs> I was trying to, I was about to say something. And Profile. here's another one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, Careful. shut up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> They're kind of not. You remember Toad's Wild Ride? 
yeah, when you're driving, it's like Toad's Wild Ride. Katie's or Wild Ride. I just said before we rolled camera, this is like Indiana Jones Ride with it you. Is. Our last little cruise on the strip. Oh, Coca Cola. Thanks for having us, Vegas. Welcome this was, back. This was so much fun. I can't wait for everything else to open up. Uh, I know that a lot more are going to be opening, like, you know, within the next couple weeks. So yeah. come down here if you can. Um, remember, masks are not required for those of you that were worried about that. They're not required at all. They're suggested. They're just strongly encouraged. Right. Um, we did them as much as possible. So um, just think about that. You can use your hand sanitizer. Be considerate. Now we need to go get Binky. There's the new stadium. The Allegiant Stadium, I believe it is. I believe you're right, and it's so modern looking, obviously. Look at these guys, Katie. Mountain goats. I was, it, that reminds me of the train at Disneyland. Yeah. arrived at state line we're gonna gas up here and we won't have to the rest of the drive so I'm guessing Buffalo Bills uh, still not open I don't really see any cars over there ghost coaster driver you are clear beep beep okay I'm sure you can hear that wind on the microphone just to give you an idea of how windy it is if you can see those flags and those palm trees they are going full tilt that's what, uh, that's what the drive is, is like today, fighting it. There's like fast food bags flying across the ground. <laughs> All right, under the monorail beam. Where's the sign? Where's the state line sign? It's coming up, it's right, isn't it right there? Is this it? Yeah. Goodbye Nevada and... Whoa, welcome to California, jeez. Uh -huh. <laughs> The quest for Binky continues. We just got an update photo. Yeah. <laughs> Staying at the grandparents' house. Yeah. We're if, coming for you, don't worry. If you've seen my stepdad, Henry, that's, that's you know, her grandparents. All right, making our way into the Cajon Pass. A little bit of sun. That's about the last sun we're going to see. We're going into the gloomy marine layer. I don't know if you guys can see that, but... It's like cloudy. Oh, yeah. Okay, we have arrived. We're here. We are going to finally retrieve... The binkster. The moment. That she's gonna be she's either gonna be really happy and excited or yeah. she passes the excitement because there's been times where I've stayed at your house. And she's you know, gotten for really work. mad. Yeah, and she just she's like, put me in the car. Let's go. I don't I don't want to talk. Yeah. No, no, no. Well, I think she's gonna be excited and she may go into a little coughing fit. Uh so don't, yeah. don't worry, she's just she it's her heart condition and she Yeah, when she gets really excited, it puts a lot of um pressure on her trachea. Yeah. And um so she coughs and coughs and coughs. But yeah. again, we've been reassured by her vet. It's completely normal. She's been doing this now for like five years. Yeah. So and she's it's not nothing abnormal. She's not in any discomfort, if anything, that the vet had told us that it's just annoying to you guys. Yeah, <laughs> she's it. like, It's annoying to you, it's um, just a cough. <laughs> but we are now going to retrieve the Binky. Binky <gasps> There she is. Is that my girl? Hey, Hi, little one. Hi, Hi, little one. Like, I just woke up. Is this a dream? Hi, sweetie. Come here. Oh. Is that mama? Oh, I hear her. She's like, oh. Oh, oh we got a cough <sighs> now. I know. Are you happy? That looks like me. Are you happy, Binky? Are you happy we're home? Yes, you are. <laughs> She's so happy. Hi, Binky. That's Binky's hug. That's what she does. She puts her head down. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Are you happy? See, I got some cough still. I know. I've missed you. We both missed you so much. Look at She's like, let's go, guys. Happy that Spencer's here. For you. <laughs> oh, yeah. happy girl. Missed you. Yeah, we thought you were in Vegas a few times. 
We did. We saw something that was blonde or white, and we were like, "Is it you, Bing? Yep. Is it you? Are we? Are we here for you?" She's shaking. She's are you? So dramatic. It's so dramatic. I know. <laughs> Sniffing the YouTube viewers. Yeah. She's back. All right, well, it is the next morning. Uh, we fell asleep, uh, yeah, we editing came, yeah. went late, and then, um, yeah, it's We next got morning. Binky, and then, like, we stopped and got some food, and then we came home, and, uh, like Spencer said, he started kind of editing. Um, I was giving Binky her meds. I still have to kind of clean her off a little bit because... She's got meds on her face. Grandpa Henry got a little bit of <laughs> medicine when he was giving it to her, yeah. so I got to clean her off. I still have to clean her some more. So we hope you guys enjoyed it. That trip was a blast. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, let us know by giving it a thumbs up. Yep, subscribe to our channel. And uh, hey, we'll see you next time on Best Life and Beyond. Bye-bye, everybody.